Hi all, it's Kylie from Kylie's Card Craft. Thanks for joining me again today. Remember this one? Remember this little one we did? Could have even been last year. Um, it was my, so you're going to make a journal, how to decorate your pages. And we started with a little fabric covered notebook. Okay. So we worked our way through it. You will find this in the playlist. If you go into my playlists, you'll find the playlists and when we did this. This was almost completed. Okay. So here's a little bit of a flip through. We've got pockets in here. It might need a few tags. I will probably take it with me to work this week or on the road for work this week and just um, do a few tags to go in this one. So... It is, as I said before, it is almost completed, but it has been sitting. All of these have got tags in them and all sorts of things. Um, it has been sitting. I'd like to say on my desk, but no, it did get moved to ready for a tag in there. That might need a little cluster on it. That's a little tuck spot. Um, so it had got moved as it does got moved and never gone back to. So in my finishing off Fridays on a Thursday, that's what we're going to do today. As I said before, I will finish off the tags, I reckon this week and get this all finished off. But what I want to do right now, so that I can get this one up for sale, so I've got very little left. I need to do the front cover. It's been sitting there. We've already got our little beads. I had them to there and I've just popped these two on just to tie in a little bit with the gold and just to give them a little bit more of that dangly feeling because when they were finishing here, I felt that it wasn't enough of a dangle, just me. So I've just popped a couple of little extra bits on there. So front cover, you'd think because it's been sitting here for so long, I'd be all over it. No, I'm not. So I've pulled out a few things. This is my idea. Now you're ready for this. This is my idea. I've got a couple of really nice stamps here. And I love these. And I keep them on there. And I keep them on my desk. But I still don't use them enough. So it's going to be one of those. I'm going to stamp both of them out on a cream cardstock. I've got a couple of different creams here to try. So I've got that one. I've got, I've got a cream in this one too. But I'm thinking because this one has just that little bit of sparkle you know that shimmer so and I've also got um oh and I'm thinking then of just very lightly backing it in the black to bring that black of the beads in as well on the side and I want to pop that down there this is my thought process so, as I said, I've got this. I've got that. I did also then bring over my box from my card making days. Can you see that? Yeah, these are all five by seven inch um, pieces. So there's another piece of cream that was a card. But what I'm looking for is in these shimmery ones, and I've got so many different bits and pieces here, um, is a gold. Because I thought, here we go, here we go, here we go. That's a bit shimmery. That's a bit shimmery. Um, and I might do a couple of layers, but I just want to get them all out. That one's a darker gold. We've got the two different type gold. So again, we'll pull them out and have a look if I can actually get that one out. Whoops. I know that's really high up for you, sorry. Um, but I was sitting on the floor trying to pull through these and it just didn't work. There's that one as well. well. That might be the same as the other one, but in the paper weight, not the card weight. I'd prefer the card weight, to the paper weight to stamp on and then the card lot or at least some layers because I don't want it too large. Um, but I need it a little bit thick to go onto the fabric because that um, cover at the moment is a fabric cover. So I need to be able to glue it with a fabric glue. 
I don't want just a single layer. That's why I'm looking at um, mounting it because I don't want it to show the paper to show the ripples. Does that make sense? But I'll explain it better as I go through. I didn't really want a real shiny, shiny gold. You know, like the gold foil type thing. What's that one? That's more of that. I really should get in here and clean this out. Some of this would have to be... Oh, I reckon some of this would be getting close to 20 years old. And it just keeps getting filled and filled and filled. So, nope. Nope, nope, black, nope. Right, that might do us. Let's just, oh. Right, so they're my creams that I'm looking at. So I'm thinking, I think that's a bit of gold, isn't it? And that black like so, down there to there, which probably means that this one's going to be the right size because I've got lace coming over there. It can swig over. If you notice, if I hold that up there, you'll see that because this is padded, there's less padding on the sides, which means if I stick it too far over, it's going to have to bend over. So this is why I'm debating about all these different processes. So, that is the same as that. That's the card weight. I want the paper weight. I don't think I want that one. I want that one, that one, and that one. Well, that was a long way around for a shortcut, wasn't it? Right, so let's have a look. I'm gonna use my Misty because I never use it enough. And I should be able to get both of those stamped onto this one. And then, depending on how well it stamps, will depend on... See, I've mutilated this one a little bit. I'll just go up there. I've got lots of this, so that's fine. Right. Now, I'm hoping my Versa Fine will work on this shiny surface. It may need a little bit to dry. Otherwise, we'll go into... No, we'll just do that to start with. I'll go straight into the, sta to the Stazons. Something like that in the ganache. Because I was only going to go a brown with my Versa Fine anyway. So, let's just have a look. And then I know that I'm not going to have to worry about it on this shiny cardstock or paperweight, now that I'm using the paperweight one. Right. Sitting it down, giving it a good push, working my way around it. I should just reach for my, oh, 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 oh. Not tall enough. Short arms, you know the feeling. Do you? Sorry, I'm assuming everybody knows the feeling of short arms. That is nice. That is actually quite nice on that. Let's just try the other one though, just to give us options. All right, sitting that one there. And we'll do this rose, as I said before, just to give us options. All right. So flicking him over as well. Again, they're stamps that I love and I absolutely had to have, but I just don't use them enough. So let's use them. Right. So it's here for me this time. Don't have to reach. Let's have a look. And there. I knew I'd missed a spot. Mm. I like that one too, though. Might be a bit wide. Well, that's fine. We will just cut both out and see how we go. So the ink I've just used there is the little stays on ones, ganache. Makes you get hungry, doesn't it? 
Right, they shouldn't take that long to actually dry. Let's have a look in the shiny light. This one, of course, still needs a little bit. This one looks lovely. Right, so let's see what sort of space we've got. If I want to pop this there, just to break a little bit up, and let's face it, it's me. I'm going to chop that off down there now, actually, so I'm not sitting there with all of it. And we can just... Will it fit with that bit to there? Yes, it will. And then it'll look nice and rusticated. Is that a word? Rusticated. That's a Kylie word. There you go. Right. So this is going to sit right up against the spine, like so, which gives me roundabout. I don't mind some of it in there. Six centimetres, two and three eighths. Let's have a look and see what we've got there. That one will fit. He might be a little bit large. So, and I'm still trying to work out whether I want straight or torn. I'm thinking straight might be a better option. Now, what I need to do, because I've just stamped these on without actually looking, I'm going to go down my dragonfly body, lay my ruler on that, line it up to that line. That's about even. So I can trim this so that we're even here and here and give that an actual straight edge, okay? So lengthwise, this will have a little bit trimmed off. Remember, we've got a double mount going on as well. I still don't want to take it too much longer. I might want to pop some other bits on there. So at this stage, we will just, and I can do that with the trimmer, can't I? So let's have a look. Now that I know I've got a straight edge and it's all lined up, I can sit this in here, go a little bit down there, like so. Chop this one off a bit. And this is my straight edge, remember? So I'm going to this line like so. Now let's have a look down here. Like that. Right. If need be, I can still allow room to trim a bit more off. He does look nice on there though, doesn't he? So you imagine we've got that. And I've got that. Just a very fine mount on it. And then I've got that to pick up that black. Imagine this is cut off around there as well. I'm gonna slide him over that way a little bit. That one's gonna sit down there like that with the red showing underneath. I actually quite like that. The only other black I've got I think it's here. Yeah, no, I don't. Maybe I don't have any anymore. I did have some gloss black. No. Okay. I'm going to actually adhere those ones together. I'll cut them to size. And I'll just trim you down that way. So that we can look at the finished ones in both. Mm. I would much rather attach them as I go. So need my glue book because if I don't use them on this I will use them on something else that's fine all right that's that one now when I'm gluing my mount I'm just going to I just want a very fine mount, like so. And then I can trim down here. It might be actually easier 
with my blade, I'm thinking, because then I can actually see the full thing. Right, so we're just looking at a little bit like so. Put away for the other piece. I like that length. This then gives me a section down there. This one's going to go on. You fit that way. Oh, fits that way. Right. Like so. Yep. Right. Right, 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 right. She cried. Ugh. I seem to have been filming all day and I don't think I've got the glue off my hands from any of them yet. Ugh. Right, there's that one. We'll do the same with that one. We'll trim that. So we've just given ourselves a double mount. side just very carefully take off this one as well now you can measure and mark all these or just eyeball them I always find when I'm doing mounting it's easier for me to adhere them on and then just trim them around instead of cutting them to size and then when I'm gluing them on trying to eyeball all four sides right so where is this little guy let's have a look that will still bend to there because I want it further over here than over there because I want that to go down like that. I don't mind that. I really think this guy's going to be too, too big, but we'll have a look and I can use it on something else. So I need a straight line for that one. So I'm just looking at that that's looking pretty good that's looking pretty good right but because this one is so large what I'm actually going to do is trim it so that it's fairly close to the actual design okay so I'm using the inch one, the big one, and not the small side because the small side was so filthy after this morning's filming that I actually had to um, turn it over. Where am I going? I want that much to that much. So I'm about there, aren't I? Right, that's, that's a fairly good size, actually. It's not that much. It's not that much wider than the other one. So I'm going to go about there, along here. Oops. Right. Just up along that one. And right at the bottom. I might actually give it a little bit more room at the bottom in case I want to pop some wording or something on that section. So we'll go a little bit wider at the bottom. About down there. That gives room for something else. Let's have a look. Am I straight there? Am I straight there? Am I straight there? Yes. All right. So, and it didn't end up that much larger. As much as I like that, we will give ourselves both options, okay? Because I'll use it on something else. That's fine. All right. Do need another piece of black though, and I've got more sitting there, so that's not a problem. I don't think it's going to fit on that one. 
Right. Again, I'll go up to the side, find just that way. I'm only working on two sides. Yeah. Like so. Right. I didn't look at the time. What are we doing? 20 minutes. Yep, this one should be quick. Right. Same thing, just a nice, small edge. You can now go back in that one. Some finished yule. Right. That's that one. I need another piece of black. I had another piece of black just here. And here's one I prepared earlier. Might need to straighten it up a little bit, though. This side's straight. Are you going to fit there? No, you're not. We're going to go up there. About like that. I've gone a little bit skew with with my blade there. Like that. Right. So, onto that one. Then we can look at both versions and go from there. So look, so it is just a little bit of paper and it's a stamp. So I can do numerous versions of it until I get the one that I want. It's not like I've got one piece of ephemera and once I've used that, it's gone. And if I don't like what I've done with it, then I'm, you know, stuck with it. This way I can trial both things and then these will sit there and they will happily go into something else later on. Right, trimmy, trimmy. One down there, just a small one. Mm. And then this one. So let's have a look. And in all honesty, I could not tell you which one I like the best. Right. So, let's pull this guy back over. We had it this way. Right. I quite like him. Or, I've got that one. Which one? I actually think I like that one better. I'm thinking I like that one better. Yep, we might go that way. It's gonna go there, so it'll curl a little bit and I might have to hold it down for quite a bit. I want something going on down there, whether I want a word there or whether I want something over both of those. So, let me have a think, let me have a think. If I look into... Mm, not gold. Um, oh, sorry, I'm just squizzling along there looking at different bits and bobs that I've got floating around. I know I want something. Ah, oh, in the blacks. Um, I've got words. I've got words that I got ages ago, back in the scrapbooking days. These ones. So, I don't know what I've got left. I've got moments. Let's just, again, have a look. See, now they're not too bad because that cream is not too cream. Together, cherish. There we go. Let's pull them out to see what I've got left in these. It will be very sad once these are gone. I loved them. They're, they're wooden. Um... Here we go, here we go, here we go. Best life. 
There we go. There's more. Admire. Discover. No. Oh, there's one. Let's pull them all out and have a look at what I've got. Inspire moments. That's what I've already got there. Embrace eternity. No. Memory. Mm. Adore. Laugh. I think that might be it. Amazing. There we go. Amazing. Amazing. Amaze balls. Right. So, moments works. Embrace an eternity. Adore. Dream. Happy. Dream works well, but I don't think it's big enough for what I want. Amazing. No. Cherish will always work. Discover will work. Best life. Smile. Wish. Moments is what I've got sitting there. Live life. Delight. Remember. And memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Forever, laughter, celebrate, friend, friend, inspire, dream, happy, happy, memory, laugh, memory, no. So there's moments, there's memories, there's discover, cherish. I'm down to discover. So... Moments, discover, and cherish. Moments and discover. Any, many. I'm trying to hear you. Discover. Because it's all about discovering yourself. If you're writing in your journals, it's discovering yourself. It's writing down things that are you. So, discover. Okay. Now, I'm going to glue that on. But it has to be done with the fabric glue. So... Now, it's going to need a fair whack of it, but we don't want it to go all the way out onto the fabric. So, let's just, I'm going to go in a little bit to start with, so that I can then fill that up. So, I can get it all running beautifully. coming out. Right. Now I'm just going to smooch it over a little bit so that it's further over. Again, I'm not going right to the edge because I don't want it to go onto the fabric past this area. Okay. Come on. Keep coming out. Right, so I've left just a little bit there. Okay, sit you there, pick you up. Now I'm going this way so that I can see. I'm upside down, make sure I'm upside down in that. Even top and bottom, but I want to go closer to the edge without going right onto that rolled bit. making sure it's not oozing out as I go. It shouldn't take a great deal to dry, with any luck. While it's doing that, how about we shut the lid for that one? Oh my word. Right. Almost got it coming out at the top there. Almost. But everywhere else is fairly good. Um, 
Did you all see that? I have gone upside down. I went upside down. It's got to go that way. Oh, my word. I knew that I've been um, doing too many videos today. Wow, Kylie. Undo that. Undo that. <laughs> so, were you telling me? And I checked. I could have sworn that I checked. Oh, wow. Good thing I saw it now and not later on. We all do it. Don't sit there and laugh at me because I know we've all done it. At least I found it before it was dry, didn't I? Right. Now I can't see what was the old glue and what was the new glue. Oh, this is getting empty. And it's hurting my hand. Right. Okay. Take two. So, this is the right way. This is upside down. This is upside down. And now I need to go in exactly the same spot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> cool bananas. Right, Kylie. Oh, look, now I've got a little bit up there. That's right, that ribbon, the ribbon, the lace should cover that. I reckon I've gone a bit too happy now with the glue. Oh. Let's hope that that lace covers that bit. Yes, it does. So that's fine. Ah, I tell you. <laughs> Lace is going to come up there. It's going to come down there. Right. Ah, oh, look at that. But that's all right, because the lace is going to cover it. I just need to make sure I've got the right side of the lace up. And I don't think this one matters too much. Now we might go that way, down there, onto that. So, first things first, what I'm going to do is put a row of glue on this section. And then I'm going to just put it behind each of these flowers, just to hold those in place like that okay that's fabric glue in a stringy bit so first things first down along there oh you go wouldn't you think that i'd have some paper towel here but i don't i've got everything else yeah So I'm just lightly wiping it because I don't want too much of it sopping through. But I definitely want it on the ends, not on my fingers, and just in a few other places. Right, I'll go back to the flowers. We'll get this one sorted. Right. Already done. Gently, Bentley. That one can be trimmed off. Like so. <laughs> right. So now you can see that I can pull it back. I can put these ones on and then stick those ones down. So this bit's still a little bit loose. But these are holding on to it and you won't see them on the inside of the flowers. Hopefully. There's got to be a better way. 
that's just a bit of a gunk. All right, I'm using a piece of book page as my um, glue section. She's running now. My word, she's running. I think I'm going to finish this and go and have a well-deserved share. I'm so covered in ink and glue. All right, let that dry, Kylie. That I might just chuck out the window. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. So, this one will go on here like so. I'm happy with that. Now, that can just go with normal, everyday, normal liquid glue. Um, or you could do it with double-sided tape, you know, the really strong one, something like that. But if you've got a good quality glue, I wouldn't use a glue stick. Okay. And I'm thinking I might just do that. Pick it up with that one. And pop it in there again so that it's got round about the same border as the other one. How's that? Does that need anything else? I don't think so. I like I like the sheen on it. Can you see it shine? I like the gold bits there. I like that because it matches in with that one. That lace matches with that, which is a little bit of those, which I've just lost because I was playing with it. We will re-put that one in again. Um, that's all done. That's all done. I had another one of these in here, there. That needs a little bit of a cluster in here. Let me just grab some bits. That one. Uh, I'm just grabbing some, some scrap bits over here. like so and then we're done and then I will reattach that bead charm whatever you want to call it and actually pop a um, an o-ring on it all right you can go on that we need a bit of glue, which I'm just going to grab over here because I don't want any more glue on my table than is necessary. And that one. Just that one. And I might pop a number on that one so let's have a look do we want numbers here we go just some numbers we'll go some individual little numbers should be in here I should have some small ones that are going to fit down there unless I go those ones no you're too light here we go, here we go, here we go. That'll work. Happy with that one. Now these are just off scrapbook paper that I've cut out. Just your normal 12 by 12, I'd say, with that one. Get a little bit of glue on him. Doesn't matter that it's all over my fingers now because... There is so much all over my fingers now, it's not funny. And we will grab that. Probably in the right spot. There. They don't take long to do the other sides of um, doilies. I love my doilies. So, right, 
done and we've done our front cover that one <coughs> excuse me that one is now finished i will do some a few tags during the week while i'm on the road and um then it'll be up for sale i've finished it yay thank you all thank you all for helping me and motivating me to finish as i said before you'll see all the pages done in the series of how to decorate a journal and until next time happy crafting thanks guys bye